so I was born just off of Broadway, and I always kind of joke, I've lived like everywhere in Buffalo that's possible to live. Um, and I think, you know, it is a very different place depending on where you go. Like, it is dramatically different. So I think that's the big takeaway for me is that like, you know, it, there's extremely impoverished parts of Buffalo. Mm -hmm. And then there's like immense wealth in Buffalo as well. Mm -hmm. um, and that divide is just so dramatic. Growing up, I lived on Thatcher and our house was like one of the only houses with a really, really big like front porch. So all of our friends would come to our house. We would play spades on the porch, dominoes, get your hair done. Um, people would drive by that you recognize, so they would honk or they would stop and you would talk to them. Um, if we were doing something bad, our neighbors would tell on us. Like my mom always found out everything we did. Uh, even if it wasn't like on our street, she still somehow found out. Um, and just that sense of community is, that's what I think of when I think about Buffalo. My mom is one of the best singers that I've ever heard. And I'm not saying that because she's my mom. Like she's, she's a brilliant vocalist, but she'll never stand on a huge stage in front of thousands of people in New York City and to, to be able to perform. So what does she do? She performs at the church. She performs at, you know, home going celebrations and at community events and she shows up where she can. And I think that exemplifies being an artist here for me. And our city is very unique in the sense that it's already so segregated. May 14th didn't happen to Buffalo. Like, it happened in Buffalo, but it didn't happen to Buffalo. Um, so for everybody that it didn't happen to, you know, the people who didn't have to think twice on May 15th about walking into a grocery store, uh, for those people who are disconnected because of the design of our city, um, I think it'll also give them insight into understanding their neighbors, like the people right on the other side of Main Street who they don't interact with and on a street that they don't necessarily drive down. I do think that unfortunately there are people that just do not get it. Like mm -hmm. even after like watching the news stories and hearing people talk about it, you know, there's just that disconnect. So mm -hmm. I think it can be really healing for our community, mm -hmm. but I also hope that it's challenging mm -hmm. to people yeah. that yeah. haven't gotten it yet.